Nation are back again. Um, today, the 18s were supposed to come out. Um, the shop is getting them. And 14th Street was supposed to open up at 8. Uh, but they told me that they were open up at 10 now. But the only issue why I was running, I was rushing there, I was actually late because the train was delayed. Um, they only had 24 pairs. So I don't know how many size tens it's going to be. So I'm trying to, I'm going to go back to my store and then I'm going to head there before. Because right now it's, it's 9 o'clock. So I'll probably be there, um, even if I, I don't think anybody's gonna line up for them. So let's see, I hope I get it, because I don't know how many sides the they're gonna have. So for those who were hitting me up and asking me what have I copped lately, I haven't copped anything. Shoot, this thing looks yellow, whatever. So whoever been hitting me up about what I copped, so I don't know if you guys remember, um, I think it's DTLR. The shop they posted this picture of the go toe with the equality letters on it so they just photoshopped that completely and i was so amped i was like oh yes i'm gonna finally get these shoes so they post the go toe with the pictures and everybody was like asking themselves they said this one's gonna be releasing a lot of people were saying no that's not it but the description were like black white and metallic gold so everybody thought it was gonna be those now um i'm amped up i was like i'm not gonna cop any shoes because i want those and i probably would double up on them so they didn't actually cop anything, and then eventually they ended up showing another picture, which like had me. I was like, this is not what I was expecting. So they released the quality, which is the quality ones, which is still good. I just wasn't as amped as I was with the gold toes. And then yesterday, I don't know if you guys saw the image that the NBA info locker posted up of the um, KD10 blinders. That's what they called them. It was like a black, all black with the blue, orange, I believe, or yellow in the back with the number of KD number in the Nike swoosh. So they released those, but they were by raffle. So before they closed, um, I believe it was a tip off, they were handing out tickets, I mean race, uh, wristbands the night before. So then when I went yesterday, I couldn't, that one person was in front of me. So after the wristbands, after they all had wristbands, the last one, there was one person in line in front of me that he was there for like hours and then I was there behind him. And one of the person that has a, that had a wristband didn't show up, so they actually gave him the last pair that was there that wasn't claimed, and it was a size eight. Anyways, even though I probably would have get it and try to switch it for a size ten, but I still had no chance. But I'm pretty sure that the reason why they changed the time on the release today for the 18 is because um, they were, they were expecting a license. They was they a little bit limited. Not every shop is getting them. Not every fraction. I know for locker for sure is not getting them. So since not every shop is getting them, they thought there was gonna be a line outside. So that's why they schedule it for eight but now they're gonna open up at ten so hopefully there's no line i'm pretty sure i'm, I'm good so let's see so let's go pick these up So just got back to the crib and as you guys know I was able to get my hands on the Jordan 18s in this OG colorway or Motorsport Blue whichever you guys want to actually call it uh, but most of you guys know already when I posted my last video uh, you know this is my favorite Jordan of all times the reason why is because this is the last Jordan's worn shoe on court um, and a lot of you guys know that he was in the Wizards that's why they came out with this colorway now um, the the reason why I know, most of you guys noticed that the, the retail price now is 225 back then it was 175 and I have <clears throat> this pair right here that I was wearing today and I sort of could give you guys like a closer uh, like a side-by-side -side comparison of them so so you guys can see 
the first thing you actually notice is that shoe almost dropped the shoe right there so the first thing you can actually notice is that the, the leather on this one is actually tumbled let me see if we actually focus on that right there right there so th this is the tongue of this one and this is silver on this one it's just the regular also on the tongue so let me put this out on the tongue right here you got the tumble leather um the tumble leather also in this piece right here and the ones right here they look like this on this one there you go and on this one it's just like this and it's a little bit different and then the back of it looks like this um and the inside of this on the tongue it's just like the outside of it uh so the inside is the same but also whoever has the the, the shoe in the hands or whoever ordered them they're gonna notice that if you got one of the ogs this was soft um on this pair but on this pair right here you got like an ankle like an extra ankle support right here you cannot bend it as easy that's why maybe a lot of people suggesting to go um half a size up which i wouldn't suggest because the shoe probably has to break in this piece right here this whole piece is actually really really stiff so it's like they put like some ankle support maybe that shoe they didn't feel like had enough ankle support so this right here is like a whole padded piece on this side right here which makes a huge difference so once you try to put the shoe on you will feel that right off the back so they're gonna be tough to put on at first but i'm pretty sure over time you can actually break it in this pair is from 2003 so maybe now nah, i don't eh, maybe the maybe it had that piece there i'm not sure because i just i don't have those since back then but those are the 2003 pair and they don't have the same like I said, maybe it's because this one is a newer pair. Maybe those ones are broke in already. Um, as, as you can see, this one been worn multiple times. And also, this 2003 pair came in with this little towel right here. This way. Came with this little towel right here, which the new pair doesn't. So I feel like the main reason why the the price is a little bit different is because the extra padding, the tumble leather on the front of the shoe um and the the support the ankle support also this is the box of the 2018 model this is what it looks like it's what the box up and up like um and there's nothing extra in it and this there you go and then this pair right here is from og1 it looks like this and this one comes out like that um this is the older box and this is what it looks like at the bottom so the boxes are a little bit different i personally prefer the older one that's just me uh, but i wish that this one came with a little towel or something like that but it didn't and that's okay so yeah so this one is pretty dope and i feel like this is going to be one of the most slept on shoe i know they sold out online but i feel like not everybody felt these usually people that saw them Whoever saw me, saw me with these on today, they were like, oh, those are the OGs, whoever recognized. But, you know, a lot of young guys, they actually saw me. They didn't realize what I was wearing. They probably would have think, like, what, what is this guy wearing? Um, and I know that this is, like, one of the weirdest Jordan, Jordan ever. And for those who are new to the channel, the reason why this is my favorite Jordan is because I was giving this colorway to me back in um, 2003. And I destroyed them, wearing them, like, once. Because the person that gave them to me, I couldn't afford shoes back then. My family couldn't buy me shoes, so they just gave them to me, and I destroyed them, like, once or wore them, like, once or twice. So that's the reason why I had to get those again. And that's the last pair that I saw Jordan wear, and that's when I, when I was getting back into, when I was getting into basketball and things like that, and watching basketball. And he was, like, retiring and stuff. So, yeah, so that's the main reason. But I'm glad I was able to cop these. This is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, probably, I will have to say that this is my favorite out of both of them. Uh, but I feel like it's just because of the colorway. But if I go... Um, by sentimental uh, preferences, it will have to be the red ones, though, that's for sure. I also have the black and red ones, but the 2005, I believe, this one came out with the pack. And the suede is actually getting old. So I'm glad that they're bringing this back. They're also bringing it out with the all reds, which is, looks pretty dope. I'm pretty sure those ones will be a little more hyped, I guess. Uh, these ones were pretty limited. Not every single fraction got them. Um, there was one, like, within the East Coast. They got them a bunch of stores. Um, a friend of mine told me that they not did not get them overseas So I guess it was a little bit hard to get but they weren't super hyped or nothing like that before I forget nothing else changed So the outsole of this one is the same thing as this one. This one's a little bit dirty like I said with them today But yeah, but they both the same thing 
um, just the different colors. Other than that, nothing else changes besides the small details that I pointed out. So you don't get a whole lot of difference. I'm sure if you have the 2003 pair of this ones, you will notice the same exact thing. So like the tongue and things like that. So that's gonna pretty much do it. I'm gonna give you guys an unfood look at this. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and let me know if you guys dropped or copped this one. If you have the 2003, what you think of them side by side, if you preferred to go half a size up on these because of the pressure on the side. But like I said, I personally suggest go through the size. Me personally, I have a super narrow foot, so maybe that's why. But um, with this one, I went through the size and they fit me perfect. So they fit me the same way as this ones. But maybe you guys have, if you guys have a little bit of a wider foot, you always go half a size up. So keep that in mind. And yeah, leave a, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about them. And I will be giving you guys a detailed look at these shoes.